Hello friends, welcome to Creator King. Today we'll start with a syringe for cough syrup, but we'll also need the soft drink of your choice, which I invite you to drink with me before we start with the good stuff. Saw off the nozzle of the container until it comes off, and if there are any irregularities on the edge, cut them with scissors. Place hot glue all around the edge to attach to the hole of the syringe as a protective cap. You'll see how the rotating property of these caps will be very useful for us. In the meantime, set this piece aside and get another syringe of cough syrup from which you'll remove the support. Apply glue around the base of the syringe and attach it to the side of the first one. Now we'll attach a little motor to this extension. Put hot glue on one of the sides of the toy motor and stick it to the cap. This way, our invention will be able to point in several directions. Get some galvanized wire from your nearest hardware store and cut a piece with these special pliers for stealing bicycles. I only know this because I was told about it, so don't look at me that way. Bend the wire in half and pinch it with the pliers to make it narrower on that side. With the same tweezers, bend the ends of the wire to form these little legs or antennae. Insert the wire legs onto the sides of the motor on the cap and secure it generously with plenty of glue. You already know that popsicle sticks are the favorite material for creating inventions on this channel. In addition to the piece of popsicle stick, we'll need this small motor, which is somewhat different from the others. You're probably wondering, hey Creator King, why do we need two motors? And I will answer, patience young Padawan. All will be revealed in due time. Make a hole at one end of this stick with our powerful drill, into which we'll insert the pivot of the second motor. Pierce the other end of the motorized popsicle stick and insert a nail through it. Place hot glue near the head of the nail and attach it well by pulling it downwards. Glue near the head of the nail and attach it well by pulling it downwards. This way we'll seal it perfectly. Just in case, add more at the bottom so that it moves as little as possible. And now we have a beautiful cranking movement. Apply glue to the second syringe of the initial structure and attach the new turning system, making sure that the nail goes in between the galvanized wire. Now let's recycle some of the cardboard from a box that you happen to have to assemble the base of the entire invention. With our powerful and sharp cutter, make the appropriate cuts. Attach the whole structure to the freshly cut square of cardboard right in the center with a little hot glue. Get two heavy objects and place them in two corners of the base and proceed to look for a pencil, which you can say goodbye to because it's going to be shaved down to the center with the box cutter. Did you know that graphite is an excellent conductor of electricity? For this same reason, there was talk a couple of years ago of creating different devices using graphene as a base, such as thinner and more flexible cell phones. After making the connections to the graphite, connect a black wire to one end of a paper clip. Cut a piece of insulating tape to protect the connection between the cable and the clip. Apply more hot glue on the piece of graphite and cover the other end with insulating tape. Don't forget to cut off the extra. Find a round wooden stick and measure about 3.2 centimeters with a ruler. Place glue on one end of the cut sticks and attach them to the pencil. The next step is to mount it on the cardboard base along with all the other elements. To give it a little more stability, let's add these two pieces of popsicle sticks to each side of the graphite holders. Then attach the paper clip and wire to it. Connect the cable to the bottom motor plug and the other to the upper motor, so to speak. Add a small piece of black wire to the upper motor. It's time for the battery. Put glue on one side and attach it to the structure. Get a propeller from a toy airplane and connect it to the top motor's pivot. As soon as we move the clip, our beautiful fan, which was requested so much in the comments, will start to rotate, and if we move it closer to the opposite end, it will start to oscillate. I just saved you hundreds of dollars in air conditioning. I deserve at least a like, right? Watch how it cools the whole area down without any problem thanks to its rotating system. The second invention will use 70% of this hot glue dispenser. With one of these great Swiss Army knives, take out each of the screws that hold this tool in one piece. It will take a while, but to avoid boring you, I'll insert these new transitions that I created myself. Remove the cover, revealing its entire interior, and remove the trigger system as well, so that you can remove the rest. Put the trigger back in place and get this strange thing that I still think is an energy transformer. 
Can anyone tell me what it is? We'll also need some wires with a clasp to start making the connections that will give life to this invention. Connect the black wire to the red switch and secure it with some insulating tape. The green wire should also be connected to the switch and covered with tape, so don't just sit there. After fastening the wires to the wooden clothespin, connect the battery to the snap and press the button to observe the magic of science. Get two stainless steel nails and attach them to the ends of the wires with insulating tape. Cut the pivots inside the hot glue dispenser with pliers and place the entire defense system inside. First, we'll start by gluing the switch right next to the squeezable trigger. Then apply glue on the converter. But we must keep the nails firmly in place with some separation. Place a small wooden stick snugly between both nails forming pressure. Reassemble the final piece and tighten it with screws. Are you ready to have your own alien energy sprayer? Wouldn't it be a great idea to sell these for self-defense from anyone that approaches you on the street? Or it could also work as a substitute for a flashlight, even to light your portable stove. The possibilities are endless. But for the moment, I will prepare coffee. Want some? The last invention is a toy that reminds me of my childhood. Use plenty of hot glue to join the ends of two popsicle sticks in this exact position. In the meantime, get a toy engine from our new toy. Cut a piece of black wire and with the same scissors peel off both ends to expose the strands. Connect one of the ends to one of the thin pins on the motor and look for our trusty snap cables. Connect the red wire from the snap tightly to the other pin and get an ordinary switch. Connect the other end of the single black wire to one of its pins and the black wire from the snap to the remaining pin. A little insulating tape won't hurt these fragile motor connections. Although I like to use that thermal plastic more, it's relaxing to see it compress. But since I have no money to buy it, we'll continue to use tape to wrap our wire connections. Don't forget to cut off the extra for aesthetic reasons. Repeat this step on the other side. And our everyday electrical circuit is almost complete. It's time to use our super glue to start organizing all the elements. Apply glue on the shorter sides to attach it in between the popsicle sticks that we glued at the beginning. Do the same with the switch. And place a little more on top of the structure to make a popsicle stick cross. I bet you've already guessed the shape of our brilliant invention. Yes, it's an electronic toy plane of the kind that used to hang on lamps and ceiling fans. Make a diagonal cut to a tongue depressor and apply glue on the edge to attach it to the tail. It will function as an aileron for our future military aircraft. I'm pretty sure I was a toy maker in my past life. My family says that I was probably a black bear because I snore like one. Cut another piece of popsicle stick the same size as the one we made previously. Once we have these two pieces, apply hot glue on the edge of each one and glue them to the sides of the tail to complete the piece. This alone would get you an A-plus on your school project, but since we always like to stand out from the crowd, let's add even more elements that will make it look like real quality aerodynamic engineering. Add wooden supports in between both wings and secure them with hot glue. Repeat this step until there are two on each side. In the meantime, let's talk, my small grasshoppers. Are you guys ready for Halloween? For me, it's one of my favorite seasons. Not counting Christmas because of the gifts. I mean, the family reunions. I love scary decorations and scary movie marathons on TV. Tell me in the comments what your favorite time of year is and why. Oh, yes, it's wonderful, but it's still missing a couple of essential pieces. First, we'll need some wheels to create the landing system. Steal them, ironically, from a police car. We'll only need two, so I doubt they'll mind. Measure the necessary width needed to cut a toothpick. Then use a box cutter to make sure the wheels will fit onto it. Start assembling the pieces in order to create the landing bridge for our plane. Take a clothespin and put it in the middle of the landing bridge. Apply glue near the end where the motor is and attach the wheels as shown on the screen. If we want the future propeller to work, we'll need one of the 9 volt batteries that we love so much. Glue it to the bottom of the airplane and snap it onto the wire clasp. Take the first propeller you can find and attach it to the motor pivot. 
it's practically ready to take flight. But like any good toy, it needs our help to make it better. Cut a piece of thick string and fill one end with hot glue, then string it to the end of one wing. Use the same piece of thread to measure a second piece which we'll glue to the opposite side. A small dot of glue will be enough on the tail of the plane to glue the third string. Take all three strings and join them together with a lot of hot glue. Because I never know how to make any knot other than the butterfly knot for my sneakers. I'm a disgraceful scout. Christmas came months in advance. And this time, I'm Santa Claus. Simply attach your new toy to the ceiling fan or any high place and watch it go round and round and round. Yes, that's all it does. What did you expect it to do? Launch missiles? I mean, it could, but no. Thanks for watching our inventions made out of household items today. Follow my channel if you'd like to learn more about making simple yet incredible inventions. Also, click on the link to see more videos about my amazing inventions. Click on the link to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of my videos. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. Until next time.